trick. Yes. Plectrum in my pocket. It's like gold in my hands. We're gonna talk about chord tones. I think chord tones is the secret to the universe. All right, let's start off really simple. E chord. chord tones in it. E, G sharp, and B. So it goes E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. Now, this is where everybody tunes out. Oh, I'm not going to learn all the notes. What notes are in what chord? They're always the same. They're always the, the root or the note that the chord is built on. In this case E and then it's the major third because it's a major chord and then it's the fifth so it looks like that now you find those in other shapes other than what I'm doing right there two one four two sorry my dog's insane So see it in situations like this. Right? A little, a little higher. You can actually go back up to the, the root, the E. So what is so cool about that? little phrases. Here's E. What I did was I started, that's not one of the chord tones, but it's right above one of the chord tones, the G sharp. So remember we did this? Right above the G sharp is an A. You can start neat about that is the first notes that I played were not in the chord but they went to a note that's in the chord so it makes your ear be like I want to hear that chord tone you're playing a note that's not a chord tone ah okay now I hear the chord tone so it's a tension of wanting to hear something and the release of being able to hear it a little bit tense not tense. A little tense. Not tense. That's what makes phrasing cool.
idea is you don't just play the chord tones, but you use the other notes as a way to outline the chord tones, right? <laughs> I end my phrase kind of on a chord tone. You don't have to do that, you know, you can go. I just ended on not a chord tone. The F sharp is not E, G sharp, or B. Every scale, every key, has a group of chords that work in it, right? Let's go through them right now. Let's do it in G. One chord is G, okay? It's a major chord. The two chord is A minor, it's a minor chord. The three chord is B minor, it's a minor chord. The four chord is C, it's a major chord. The five chord is D, it's either a D major or a D dominant seven, or D seven. The sixth chord is minor, it's an E minor in the key of C. The seven chord is an interesting one. It's a half diminished chord. That is an F sharp half diminished. You have your second finger on the sixth string playing the F sharp. You have your third finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Your fourth finger, your little pinky, on the second fret of the third string. And then you have your first finger playing the ugly note, the C, which is really a beautiful note. that is the seven chord in the key of G. And then eight is G again. But it always goes in that pattern, no matter what key you're in. Minor seven flat five. Back to A. See, the other thing is, you don't want to be like playing chord tones all the time. I was like, hey, I'm on the C. be playing stuff that's in your brain like so think about what chord is coming up and try to hit one of its chord tones and that's where learning all the notes and all the chords really helps a lot I just played up a B scale there so, right? What if the B then goes to a D sharp minor? Like a 
know that that's coming because I'm looking at a chart, right? So it's going, and I'm soloing. And it goes to this. What if I go? Why did I do that? Because I knew that was in the chord that was coming up and it was gonna sound really cool. What's really cool too is um, it's like a paint by numbers thing. Ever you do a paint by numbers and you're always like, oh, this looks like a picture. Well, this is the way it works with scales too and chord tone. So if you know the chord tone is coming, you know, especially if you know a song really well, you know what chord's coming up behind you. in C. You have root third, and look, they're all um, two notes apart, right? Root is one, two, three, four, five. So what's the next one that's three notes up? It's the seventh. So you now have... All right, now... If you're playing a B flat chord, let's hear what the seventh sounds like. Pretty cool. That sounds really good. Maybe we should go up three from the seventh. Let's go back to G. And G. There's your major seventh. Now we're gonna go up to like we were before. And that's A, that's the ninth. Ninth is one of my favorite note chord tones. You can just go down the chord tones from that. So we went and we did the seventh and the ninth. We can do the thirteenth. I'm really paying attention to that E because that's the thirteenth. It sounds beautiful. Look, sometimes it sounds like jazz, but that doesn't mean that it's only for jazz. It doesn't sound like jazz. What did we talk about? Chord tones, scales, and the chords that belong to a scale. Not playing just the chord tones, but playing the other notes of the scale around the chord tones. We talked about playing the other extensions of the chord. So not just the root, the third, and the fifth, but also the seventh, you know, and the ninth, and the thirteenth. All right, I'm gonna stop right now because I think I've gotten too far. Let me know if you got anything out of this. I like to share this crazy ass knowledge I have. Fred needs to drink. Later on, peace. Yeah.